Kahe, Buju Nij, Anishinabe Dug. Hello, my fellow Anishinabe, and welcome back to Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Nana Buju, and in the studio with me, ho, please welcome the lovely and the talented Natasha. Make it on, bonjour, baby. Say hello. Bonjour, Gakina. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. And today, you know, I was thinking we'd make a good Ojibwe uh, word. What's that? Well, I was thinking, Chicago Ikwe. Chicago Ikwe, skunk woman? That's right. Skunk woman. Chicago Ikwe. And I was thinking, you know, so Chicago is, uh, you know, skunk. Mm-hmm. And Ikwe is woman and I was thinking it might be a good day to tell the story of the skunk woman. What do you think sweetie? Oh that's a great idea. All right so today I will tell the story of Jigagi Quay skunk woman. So back in the days of the grandfathers there was an Anishinaabe man who was a very good hunter but he had a really bad temper. Oh. He would always be yelling at his brothers and the other men when they were out <laughs> hunting. And nobody wanted to hunt with him. He was just, just a crabby guy. Mm-hmm. But uh, so after a while, he started hunting by himself and he got lonely. So he met a woman and they married and they had a child. And uh, they went off to live on their own. And she was a hardworking woman. And he was a really good provider. So they were very happy together by themselves. But then one day they were out checking the trap line and his wife just kept on talking. And he, he turns at her and he snaps. Oh, uh, why can't you be quiet? Jeez. Oh, geez. It just hurt her feelings. <laughs> you know, so she ran back home and she went into the wigwam there and she packed up the baby and, and she, she took off. Well, later that night, a man comes home. And he sees that his wife and his baby are gone. He goes, oh, wow, what did I do? Once again, my stupid mouth got me in trouble. (laughs) So he went out. He started tracking his wife. He followed her prints in the snow. And he followed her for miles. And eventually he arrived at a marsh. And he noticed that the, the footprints, they didn't look like moccasin prints anymore. They were starting to look like skunk footprints. Oh. And uh, when he looked around, he was surrounded by skunks. There was nothing there but skunks. Oh, what? And he couldn't tell which one was his wife and child. So he went back home. You know, and uh, after a while, the hunter remarried and he had more kids. But he used to tell his children, now don't you eat skunks. You must never eat skunks. Because your brother is a skunk now, and you might be eating your brother. <laughs> so they never did. And as time went on, all the Anishinaabe decided to never eat skunk. And uh, that is why, to this day, whenever we smell skunk, the very smell of a skunk will send people away. It is the last animal anybody wants to eat. Yeah, huh? And that is why. Skunk smells so bad to us. <laughs> or at least that is the story as I was told. Mm. And this has been the story of Chicago Ikwe, Skunk Woman. Oh, uh. <laughs> what do you think of that, sweetie? Oh, that's a pretty good story. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Some of these old Indian stories, they've got a weird moral to it. Yeah. I think the guy eventually kind of shaped up his attitude. I think the moral of this story is don't be so crabby and snap at your wife. She might turn into a skunk. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you want to add anything to this, sweetie? No, that was pretty good. Okay. Well, in that case, I just want to say miigwech bizan dawi egg. Thank you for listening to Buju, not a Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. I am Nana Buju, and this is Natasha. Buju! And I will see you again. Giga Wabba Bin!
Menoa. Ho! Alright, what'd you think of that? Oh, that was really good, sweetie.